Hello, church family. This is your pastor, Bradley Boberg. I hope you are doing well today. We look forward to coming together to look to God's Word today for a short thought. Third John. That's right, Third John, a book of the Bible that many of us kind of skip over and don't hear much about, has a powerful story, a golden nugget, I'll say, that speaks to us on a level that I think uh, we need to hear from time to time. <clears throat> Uh, let, let me first tell you that I had um, many teachers along the way, uh, from elementary school through high school into college and, and beyond, that had very different styles. Remember, there was one particular teacher I had, <clears throat> and from the moment I walked in the room, uh, there seemed to be a, a very demeaning personality. Uh, looked down upon everyone in the class, um, the authoritarian figure, uh, the idea that uh, they were right and we were wrong and we needed to conform to their ideas. And uh, it wasn't much of a joy. And uh, there was many times I wish I hadn't been there. It's a class I look back on and think, man, that was tough. I'm glad I was over. But then I also had some teachers who seemed to be more loving, caring, thoughtful. There were two or three of my teachers along the way, especially in elementary school, where I thought I was their favorite. <laughs> I thought that uh, I was the the. the class uh, favorite to the teacher and I was the teacher's pet as you may call it and 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 I remember sitting in some of these classes um, sometimes even thinking well like I'm, I'm the favorite of this teacher uh, my second grade teacher Miss Bullock I, I felt like I was a classmate now she was a tough teacher and she she was firm um, but I felt like I was her favorite or, or my fifth grade teacher Miss Hicks thought I was her favorite or or my eighth grade teacher um, Miss May. I, I felt that I was her favorite, and you know, I felt like I got favors in the class or whatever, and 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 I and I felt like uh, maybe I got perks because I, I was a good kid and I was obedient, and they saw me favorable, and so they gave me opportunities to do things or to learn things that they didn't give to others. But years later, and having some conversations with some of my friends um, that I grew up with, I. I found out that they felt the same way in those classes. That was some of the same teachers I have that I felt like I was that important and loved and cared for. Um, they felt the same way. They felt they were the teacher's pet. As I grew up and looked at some of these teachers I had, some these loving and caring teachers and some others that were very... Uh, uh, I don't want to say unloving, but not as as maybe more authoritarian and dictatorial in the class. I came to find out that there were two very different philosophies, really, of leadership. Gaius in Third John is being taught that there are some different philosophies as well of what it is to have different leaders. He's told of two. <clears throat> um, and these two individuals in this passage of Scripture are named Diotrephes and Demetrius. Now, Diotrephes was kind of like the mean authoritarian teacher. Demetrius seemed to be the more gentle, loyal, and loving character. When you look at Diotrephes in Third John, uh, you see someone was very divisive and, and contentious in his leadership style. Uh, in verse 9, you see he has an ego problem. He loves to be first, it says. Um, he was authoritarian, it, it alludes to, and he, he wouldn't give in to others. He wouldn't submit to others. If anyone had disagreed with him, um, he wouldn't welcome that person uh, to the church anymore. And he eventually put that person out of church. He was critical of others. Diotrephes gossiped maliciously about others in the church and was even upset with John. 
Um, he was inhospitable and unfriendly. And in John's brief description of Diotrephes, he makes it clear that Diotrephes wasn't the kind of person you would want to have over for dinner, let alone a leader in the church or a leader anywhere. Defined him as Diotrephes, as this type of person. Demetrius, on the other hand, John looked to as a good person, it says in verse 11. And the implications are that Diotrephes was the opposite of Demetrius. That it says in verse 11, Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but as what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. You get the implications there of Diotrephes versus Demetrius. Demetrius being the good person. The one we want to imitate. He had supporters in the group. Uh, he was well spoken of by individuals. And, and, and leadership is always a two-way street. It's not just the person who's leading Demetrius, but it was the, the other individuals that were part of his life that he could lead to be a part of. And they were supportive of him. And he was also a person of truth. It says in this passage of scripture, which I think is very powerful, in 3 John verse 12, it says in this passage of scripture, not only has everyone testified favorably, every person testified favorably about Demetrius, but truth itself has testified favorably about Demetrius as well. The truth was on his side. When we consider leaders and people in our lives and the people that we trust and the people that we go to, I think we look at this, we, we could look at it like John was Diotrephes and Demetrius. There's those who are egotistical and self-centered, power-hungry and authoritarian. And their lasting mark is, well, not a favorable one. And then we look at those like Demetrius, good and kind. People look at them favorably. There's love. There's sacrifice. There's submission. As we look at the people around us that we have in our lives, maybe as we look at ourselves, who are we? What are we like? I pray that on this day, I'm more like Demetrius than I am Diotrephes. May you be as well. Let us pray. O oh Lord, for the book of 3 John, the powerful testimony of what it means to be a leader, both good and bad, May we find ourselves on the right side of history. May we be more like Demetrius than Diotrephes. May we be submissive, caring, and kind. May we be gentle and loving, yet a leader. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you until we see you again.